My name is Uncle Chan for Game Plug, and it's my turn to showcase my top 5 Pokemangs. There are others that I like that almost made the list, but the ones I've settled on just seem to have a warm place in my younger Chanty heart. Number 1 Blastoise. Starting out of the gate with my boy, my bro, Blastoise. I've not played any Pokemon game where I haven't hoped I get a chance to catch or start with Squirtle, just so I can get to this big bastard. And there are none other like him in the entire franchise. He's large and in charge, intimidating, awesome looking, and never to be underestimated. Plus, he has a rad Mega Evolution to boot. Last time I checked, he was statistically the strongest of the original three starters. Hydro Pump, bitch. Number 2, Onyx. A lot of you out there are probably scoffing at this choice. Yes, Onyx. Ever since the first time we saw him in Brock's gym in Season 1, he's always had a spot in my lineup. He's a bloody giant rock serpent who throws rocks and causes earthquakes. What's not to like? I'm sorry, but he got ripped off in his first encounter with Ash's Pikachu. If Onyx can feel pain under sprinklers, do they just flat out die in a wet slaughter in a rainstorm? Brock could have cancelled the match due to an external interference. Without that, Pikachu would have been flattened. Number 3. Snorlax Ah, finally. My spirit animal, Snorlax. I feel a certain kingship with this Pokemon. I love everything about him. He's massive, powerful, strong, passive. He also loves to eat and sleep. Just like me. I caught all the ones sleeping on the roads in Pokemon Blue out of principle, and I can't have my team without him in it. I honestly don't know how you could afford to maintain this beast. You need acres of parkland and truckloads of poke food just to sustain him. But his gains and power would more than justify it. Good old Snorlax. Number 4. Cubone. Probably one of the saddest and metal stories for any Pokemon. He wears the skull of his dead mother. How metal is that? Besides an awesome character design, he's also another one of the more unique and iconic Pokemon from Gen 1. His Bone Club move I found to be always insanely powerful for some reason, but Boomerang would be my favourite move of his. When he evolves to Marowak, it's almost as if he owns his origin, and his mother's skull fuses to him and becomes whole again. I don't know, I'm looking too much into this. Number 5. Coughing. Haha, <laughs> yes. Coughing. Not sure I know anyone that considers him a favourite, but come on! Look at that goofy smile! I just love how he says his name. Coughing. I don't find him to have the biggest defence, but I love using him first up and land a successful poison gas type move and withdraw him ASAP, so the victim gets that annoying poison damage during the match while up against a stronger Pokemon. He looks so friendly, but he'd be so legitimately deadly for real. So yes, these are all from Gen 1. A couple might not be the most powerful or the most popular, but I grew up with these guys from Pokemon Blue in the anime back in the day. Let us know what you think of this list. Also, check the channel for Jamie's Top 5 Pokemon video. Subscribe if you haven't already for more from the Gameplug team.